I'm Christine from Family Fun Pack. Our YouTube channel covers everything, like really. I mean, everything from just daily vlogs, daily life, to raising kids and parenting, to family vacations, struggles, parenting tips, potty training tips, how to get your kids to eat healthy food, and then fun challenges like blindfold taste tests and races outside, family bike rides. It really is all encompassing. We used to do things like toy unboxings and food taste tests. We don't do as much with toys now. We do more family content and vlogs. But every once in a while, toys pop in there. Clothing hauls, shopping, like really everything. Our channel has been going almost 10 years. On today's day, it will be at 10 years very soon. And we're almost at 10 million subscribers. We're just 100,000 away, a little more than that, from 10 million subscribers. So it's been a lot of really fun work over a lot of years. But our channel started with a viral video and us losing all of our footage from our wedding and all of our baby's births. And as a result, me needing a place to store footage and me not knowing anything about computers, uploading a video and putting it on public and not knowing private from public. And it kind of started by accident and then just was a snowball effect that kept going. I think it's a great device. That's why I reached out initially to the company because I was like, this could actually be a really good life-saving device. And choking is a real thing that does happen. I choked as a kid on a chip once, and obviously I was fine, but I remember how scary it was. So just thinking about that, and I was thinking, gosh, if you could prevent someone from choking to death, even if it was a random stranger, it would be awesome. So I just, I don't know, I just kind of saw it and thought, this looks like a really good product. So I figured I should reach out, and I was like, I've got a huge reach, so let me help you guys. You know, send me this product and let me just show it to people because if you've got a good product, especially that can help people, because it's not like it's a shirt you're trying to sell. This is an actual life-saving device. So it's important that people know about it. So I kind of just felt like it would be a good thing for me to share about. But I also felt like um, I should reach out because when you are an influencer, it's important that if you're gonna share about something that you get something in return. So I felt like I shouldn't be buying the product and then sharing about it. I felt like the appropriate relationship would be you know, they send me the product and then in return I'll share about it, but I'm not asking for any compensation or anything like that. So I thought that was kind of like a fair trade and that the brand would probably appreciate it. And I reached out and they were really excited about it. I think the product is self-explanatory. As soon as I saw it, it was pretty clear how to use it. And there's instructions right on it, which make it nice. It's something I think that you can maybe practice, you know, just try using it, see how it feels. Like I did, I kind of pulled this out and I, I heard the noise, but at least then I was like, okay, that's what to expect, how hard the pressure might be that you would need. Because if you go really slow, you might not actually pull the lodged item out of someone's mouth. I think that it's important for parents to have this in their house because if your kid's choking and it's really serious and it's not just a minor choke, I don't know how to explain the difference between choking levels, but when it becomes serious and your kid's really not breathing, you don't wanna wait for an ambulance or a fire truck to come because those minutes are precious. And you don't want your child to not be breathing for that many minutes. If you can save your own child's life and have that in your hands, I think any parent would do it because just those few minutes could really mean the difference of life and death. Well, I have two of them. Well, I have three, but I'm gonna be gifting one to my parents because I think it's important to have one at their house. And I was thinking about keeping one in my car and then keeping one in the house because one thing about it is if you don't keep it with you, it's not gonna be useful. So it's one thing to have it and have it in your closet somewhere, but if you don't have it in a handy place, then it won't be there when you need it. So having a couple of them on hand is a good idea. And I believe that you can use the adult size on a younger person, for example. So even if you had a child choking, you might be able to still use this one, for example, and have it help them. So just having them in places that you can get to them when you need them is important because if you go out to eat a lot, you're gonna want it at a restaurant. We actually do a yearly emergency preparedness video on our YouTube channel. Every single year we go over our emergency bags. We practice fire escape route. What do you do in the case of an earthquake? So we'll go to the doors, we stand in there, pretend we're having an earthquake. We have the kids wear their emergency bags on their back and they crawl on the ground and we do all the emergency drills. We've added things each year to our emergency drill because maybe there's some new emergency we thought that we should prepare for. So I feel like this is definitely something we're gonna be adding to our repertoire of what we go over next January. I, tend, I usually do it in January because it's just a good time to remember to do things like check the smoke alarms and all that kind of stuff. So. When we do our video next January, I'm gonna show these in the video and I'm gonna have my kids each just see what it's like to use it and understand what it is so that they can help anybody in the family.
I think this would be a great thing to have next to the defibrillator and to have them in preschools, any kind of school really, especially schools that deal with handicapped and special needs kids. That's especially a place I would want one of these because I know they're a lot more prone to choking. So I think this would be great to put there and even in like theme parks, people are scarfing down food and trying to run to the next ride. I mean, I don't know how often the choking happens in places like that, but I'm sure it does. And this would be making people, I think people would feel a lot more confident and comfortable knowing that there's something around them that could save their life. I, I think about it a lot because my grandma, she used to always kind of push her pills down. She could barely swallow a pill. And she just always struggled. She ate so slowly. She'd be eating her dinner 20, 30 minutes after the rest of us finished. But I think it's because she just didn't want to choke and she knew she could not take big bites without almost choking. So, and I, I remember a few times her kind of like, just kind of gagging on her food sometimes randomly and be like, is grandma okay? And, you know, she was okay, but having something like this with a grandparent around could be really nice, especially as they get older. I try to remember to take small bites and not scarf my food down, even though I'm running around chasing my kids. So I often do eat on the run, but I try to remember, okay, slow it down. <laughs> Cause it is important just to even remember that. Just don't chew your food too fast. Just take your time, <laughs> you know. I've never had to do the Heimlich maneuver, thank goodness, on anyone, but I mean, I don't really know how vault padding on the back works. I feel like if someone were to hit me on my back, it might be a little bit annoying when I'm choking. <laughs> but I feel like this is just like such a revolutionary device to have something that could really pull something out when you're choking, as opposed to depending on someone who can lift your body weight and actually do the Heimlich properly. Because there's a lot of ifs, you know? <laughs> and this seems like it's not as much of an if when you can put something on someone's mouth, have the suction, and really just pull something out that they're choking on. When minutes matter. <laughs>